Starting from Wimbledon, it's really inspiring and uh, hopefully I can get to your level one day. An underdog who seems to be taking the tennis world by storm might be the perfect way to describe professional tennis player Elena Rybakina. Or better still, a tranquil yet moving force of nature. Emerging as the champion of the 2023 Italian Open, Elena not only put on a good show right up to the finals, but defeated the reigning world number one in singles, Iga Swiatek, on her way up in the quarterfinals of the tournament. Her second WTA 1000 title of the year, her journey to this point has been a steady and highly applaudable progress. She is the third woman of three after Monica Sells and Maria Sharapova to make it to the finals of four out of the five major tennis tournaments held yearly, reaching the finals of the Australian Open, Indian Wells, Miami Open and the Italian Open is not an easy feat for any tennis player due to the varying surfaces to be played on. As such, Elena's adaptability and tennis finesse not only earned her title, but propelled her into the top five on the WTA rankings for the first time in her career. The current world number four in singles has caused a stir. Fans are buzzing, news outlets are on fire with stories of the underdog who first showed her propensity for success at Wimbledon last year, causing us to wonder what do tennis players think of Elena Rybakina? We are playing amazing. We have a great serve. I'm really happy that I could share the court with you again. Kazakhstani professional tennis player Elena Rybakina began playing tennis at the young age of six at the suggestion of her father, who had developed a heightened interest in tennis and wanted his daughter to learn to play the game. A former world number three junior, Elena began playing grade one events in 2015 without much success. This was after she had won her first ITF title at the Grade 3 Almatyevsk Cup. The following year, however, she won a series of Grade 1 titles after losing in the opening round of the 2016 Australian Open. 2018 saw Elena winning her first WTA Tour match, defeating Hungarian Timia Baczynski at the St. Petersburg Trophy before going on to upset world number 7 in singles, Caroline Garcia in three sets. Although she lost in the next round, her previous win moved her from her former position as world number 450 to world number 268 in singles. In 2019, Elena made her Grand Slam debut at the French Open before losing to Czech Katarina Sidiakova. She went on to have a strong season that year, defeating world number 7 Simona Halep at the Wuhan Open in the later part of the year. Mostly because the Romanian player had to retire in the first set due to injuries on her lower back, thus ending the year as world number 37 in singles on the WTA rankings. 2022 marked a significant moment in Elena's tennis career. She began the year with a career high ranking of world number 12 in singles, going on to emerge the winner at the Wimbledon Tennis Championships after a series of losses during the clay court season. She became the youngest female champion since Petra Kvitova in 2011, and although the Russian-Ukraine tensions denied her of title benefits, the win projected her into the limelight as everyone began to wonder how she slowly but steadily came out on top. Even more perplexed was the Tunisian tennis player Ons Jabour, whom almost everyone bet on as the title favourite before she was defeated in straight 3-6, 6-2, 6-2 sets. Expressing visible disappointment after a painful loss, but still trying to maintain a cool and optimistic attitude during her post-match interview, she stated that she felt Elena stole her title, but that it was okay, and while she felt sad, there could only be one winner in tennis. In this case, it was Elena Rybakina. In the ensuing controversy surrounding her Wimbledon win, some retired professional tennis players like the legendary John McEnroe made comments on Elena's win and eligibility to play in the first place given that she was a Russian by birth and the All England club had banned its Russian players from participating in the tournament. This was due to the strained relations between Ukraine and Russia at the time, and although Elena has openly declared that she was now a Kazakhstani after the nation had given her the push and resources she needed to pursue her tennis dream professionally, many were still of the opinion that she remained a Russian by blood and birth, and as such, she would have to be bound by the restrictions applied to other Russian players. In his words, she is obviously a huge hitter and hits the ball great. I just think it's weird because of this whole thing. I don't mean to get into politics here, but she is Russian, right? It is sort of strange because of this whole ordeal of not allowing the Russians to play. Well, whether or not people were pleased did not stop her from owning the title, except for the not so small fact that she was not to be awarded her points as the tournament was stripped of its points by the WTA due to the unethical ban. 2023 started on a great note for Elena as she defeated Danielle Collins in three sets at 
at the Adelaide International before losing first in the second round at the tournament and again at the Adelaide International 2 in straight sets. Fast forward to the Australian Open and Elena reached the second Grand Slam final of her career, having defeated former French Open champion Helena Ostapenko in the quarter-finals and then former world number one and two-time Australian Open champion Victoria Azarenka in the semi-finals. Although she eventually lost to current world number two Arena Sabalenka in the finals, she successfully joined the top 10 on the WTA rankings. Commenting on her exceptional start to the season, in addition to her Wimbledon run the previous year, former tennis world number one and seven-time Grand Slam winner Mats Wielander predicted that the tennis star was going to win 10 Grand Slam finals with the kind of game she played and the personality she possessed. She's so calm and mellow throughout, and she's just starting out. Following her withdrawal from the third round match of the Dubai Open due to injuries to her lower back, Elena advanced to the Indian Wells Open, healed and ready to put on a great performance. Not about to slow down, she moved past Czech Karolín Machova to reach the semi-finals, the first of her career. In quick succession, she defeated the world number one Iga Swiatek and number two Arena Sabalenka, winning her first WTA 1000 title. It was a well-deserved win for the Kazakhstani player as she faced Arena four times and each of those times she had lost after three sets. As to be expected, while the winner was excited and sharing her thank yous, her opponent wasn't feeling so good. Arena had come this far too and had expected to win her fifth WTA 1000 title. Well, as things had turned out much differently from her expectations, the tennis player in a brief moment succumbed to her emotions and stuck her tongue out at Elena. While some might argue that this was a spontaneous action done in the heat of the moment, Arena went further to respond, I'll make sure it was the last one, while laughing at Ribikina's comment on them playing sometime again in the future, a response some might refer to as the beginning of a great rivalry. Heading into the Miami Open, with high hopes and looking to make it a sunshine double, Elena made it to the finals before she was defeated by Czech Petra Kvitova in straight sets. Although a painful loss for Elena, it was clearly not an easy win for her opponent either. Petra, in her post-match interview, stated that she knew Elena hadn't lost any tiebreaks this year, and though that must have been a bit intimidating, she had it in mind that Elena had to lose at some point, so she kept going, eventually emerging the champion. At the Italian Open this year, Elena won her second WTA 1000 title, defeating her opponent Annalena Kanellina after the latter withdrew in the second set, unable to continue competing due to injuries. Although clearly hurt by her inability to continue the match, Kalanina was clear about her support for the Kazakhstani player. She stated in her post-match interview that she had played with Elena many years back in China at a 25k tournament, adding that Elena had improved in all aspects and was much more powerful and fit now. She's an amazing player, top player. I'm sure if she's going to do like this, maybe new world number one for sure, she said. Amidst the noise surrounding Elena's wins and mind-blowing performances, one thing is clear. The professional tennis player is not one to roar or make fist punches in victory, as is the norm for most of her tennis counterparts. A kind smile, a speech, and of course, excited thank yous. And the tennis champion is on to the next tournament, looking forward to the next title to be won. Speaking on her reserved nature, American former world number one tennis player Jimmy Connors commented on a podcast on how shy she was, adding that in the end, the tennis results is what counts. She seems to be very comfortable in the way she's going about it, especially with the results in the last 9-10 months, he said.